This is Deborah Spangler Colleen at Northwest College and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to format a Microsoft Word document so that it conforms to MLA documentation requirements. Here you see before you a blank new page in Microsoft Word. What I like to do at the start of a document is to set up my spacing and my font the way that I want it for the rest of the paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is change to the font I want. I prefer Georgia. A 12 point font is acceptable. But I want it to be double spaced. There are a number of ways that you can make a paper double spaced automatically. I'm going to click here on the line choice, but you can also do it by using your shortcut keys of Control and 2. First, I'm going to show you the personal information that should be included on every paper that you write. And this is information that only appears on the first page. Your name, the name of the course you're in, the name of the assignment, and then finally the date that you're working on. Notice that all of this information occurs in a block double spaced in the top left hand corner of the page. Then, using the centering text, you position your title. Notice that the title of the paper has special capitalization according to MLA rules, but it is not put in bold and there is not extra space either before or after it and it's in the same size font as the rest of your paper. After that, I'm going to just paste in some text I've already done here. The rest of the paper is double spaced, has half inch margin indents, and only double spacing in between paragraphs. Now there's one tricky part now that really gives students troubles and that's putting a header into a paper like this. And it can be a little counterintuitive in Microsoft Word, so watch these steps carefully. I'm going to go to the Insert tab and intuitively at this point you would think you want to insert a header because that's what we call it, a header. But the better way to do it in Microsoft Word is to first put in your page number, and that's a plain number at the top of the page, and then with your cursor up here, type in your last name in a space, highlight all of that, make sure it's the same font as the rest of your paper, close it, if you've been successful, it'll be a light gray color on your paper and it'll automatically number from page to page. Then it doesn't matter how much text you may add or delete from the rest of your paper, that header will stay consistent with the correct page. One final thing I want to show you is when you get to the end of the paper, you force a new page by using Control Enter, that starts a new page. And when you have a work cited, this is where it'll show. In another tutorial, I'll show you how to format your work cited page correctly. Other word processing programs are similar to this, but the tools will be a little bit different and the steps may be different. But the key thing to remember is that every MLA paper that you write will look just like you have here with personal information, title, and header. I hope you find this useful. Bye-bye.